While Israel announcing today that it's pulling thousands of troops out of Gaza, the first major withdrawal since the war began. Fox News Ashley Rodriguez joining us live in the studio. And Ashley Israel says this is in no way an indication that this war is ending. No, it's the exact opposite. The Israeli Defense Forces said it's pulling soldiers from Gaza to prepare for prolonged fighting. But there may also be tension growing inside the country after the Israeli Supreme Court made an unprecedented ruling. 2024 brings a new phase in the Israel-Hamas conflict, according to the Israel Defense Forces, who announced Monday it's withdrawing thousands of troops from the ground in Gaza. We eliminated so far over 8,000 terrorists, and every day of fighting we eliminate many additional terrorists. Step by step, we are depriving Hamas of its capabilities. According to Israel's army radio, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Saturday Israel's war in Gaza is at its highest level and will continue for months until the Hamas terror group is wiped out of the region and the more than 100 hostages still in captivity are freed. Even so, sending soldiers back home to their families is strategic. The IDF saying the troops need to gather strength for prolonged fighting through 2024. Meanwhile, this weekend, internal tension festers inside Israel. Demonstrators in Tel Aviv called for new elections to replace Prime Minister Netanyahu. And in an unprecedented move Monday, Israel's Supreme Court struck down a bill that would strip the court of its power and weaken the judiciary. The controversial plan spurring hundreds of thousands of protesters to chant in the street for weeks last summer. Hamas's October 7th attack quieted the quarreling. But now Israel faces both the external and internal conflicts simultaneously. And U.S. officials are watching Netanyahu closely. The hope is by pulling troops out, he is moving toward a lower intensity phase of the war. Regardless, the war is expected to last throughout the new year. Natasha. All right, Ashley, thank you.